And now our main event, and once again, let's go to our ring announcer, Larry Bowling. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event, a one fall black for each of the TV times. Introducing from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 245 pounds, Sweet Man Oscar. And his partner from Oklahoma, weighing in at 230 pounds, Chief Walking Horse. And there are and the Cuban assassin, along with Private Arnold, his, uh, his manager, going against Sweet Man Oscar from Detroit, Michigan, and Chief Walking Horse. Right away, the Cuban assassin moves out on... Sweet Man Oscar. Sweet Walking Horse. That's Walking Horse, I'll take your part. They've got Walking Horse in the corner. And they're working him over. Ronnie Eastep gets him again in the corner, and the Cuban assassin starts to work on him. Private Arnold, he gets a, a tug or two in there himself. Now the Cuban assassin comes in. Ronnie Eastep goes out. You'll notice Eastep holding the hair of Chief Walking Horse, the Cuban assassin, working on There's a forearm, headlocked by the Cuban assassin. There was a tag, and in comes Sweet Man Oscar. And he's now inviting the Cuban assassin out to the center of the ring. He said, I'm not coming over to your corner. You can't blame him. Into the referee's hole. The Cuban raking the eyes. There's a tag. In comes Ronnie Eastep. And whatever the Cuban assassin had in his hand, you could see possibly he just handed it to the Cuban or to Ronnie Eastep. Headlocked by Ronnie Eastep. Sweet Man Oscar is in a bit of trouble. Another headlock by Eastep. Watch him. Goes closer toward the Cuban assassin. If he gets him in that corner, here comes Private Arnold complaining to the referee. And while he's doing that, Ronnie Eastep has Sweet Man Oscar in that corner. They're going to work him over again. Here comes the Cuban assassin in. Ronnie Eastep steps out, and he kicks him with a knee. And a fist to the chin, headlocked by the Cuban, and a right to the Adam's apple, and Sweet Man Oscar is hurting. Headlocked by Ronnie Eastep, and a fist into the face of Sweet Man Oscar. And the headlock and another left. And a body press by Ronnie Eastep. One, two, couldn't hold him, he got him off barely. At the count of two. Headlocked by Eastep. Into the foot goes Sweet Man Oscar. Here comes the Cuban assassin in. Hits him with a full body press. One, two, and he doesn't want to pin him. He wants to punish him. And Sweet Man Oscar is getting plenty of it from the Cuban assassin. You can see how he has him with that sort of a force of grip on the face. There's a, there was a tag. The Cuban assassin still going after him, hits him with a body press. One, two, three, that time he pinned him. That time he pinned him and the first fall of this main event. Here's 
goes to the team of Ronnie Eastep and the Cuban assassin over Sweet Man Oscar and Chief Walking Horse. We'll be back with the second fall of this four-man tag team match right after these words. Back to ringside in the second fall of this main event. And Private Arnold at the moment is arguing with uh, one of the fans. And boy, if he's a private. And he is from Fort Smith, Arkansas. He is a wall for sure. If he isn't, he should be. He's a wall in the head, if nothing else. Now, Pete Gerald is trying to get him out of the corner. The first fall going to Wild Ronnie Eastep and the Cuban assassin. Eastep from Moundsville, West Virginia. I don't know whether you're familiar with West Virginia, but Moundsville is where they keep all the prison inmates. It's where the state prison is. Good, good location for Wild Ronnie Eastep. Maybe he should be there now. Cautiously, Chief Walking Horse moves out. Into the finger lock and he gets the advantage on the Cuban assassin. And a takedown. Working on that arm has an arm twist on the Cuban assassin. I just figured out where this private Arnold came from. He may be one of those refugees. Or private uh, valet of the Cuban assassin. One of the mean ones. There's a takedown by the Cuban, but he's in the wrong, on the wrong side of the ring in the tag. And sweet man Oscar. Right away, E-step moves in, and he has sweet man Oscar on the canvas. The referee made him break momentarily. E-step, is he biting? Sure enough, he has a bad habit of that. Free Pete Gerald, count of two on Sweet Man Oscar. And a form, but he missed it. There's a tag, and he hit his own man. And Ronnie Eastep, getting a little perturbed there at the Cuban assassin, said, hey, buddy, we're on the same side. You're my partner, remember? <laughs> Eastep still a little bit mad at his uh, own partner. Up behind him comes Chief Walking Horse and... Slams him with sort of a forearm. And he grabs the private Arnold, flips him into the ring. And the little private now, he hits for the corner. And over it fell, over the ropes and out of the ring on the other side. And the fans, they like that one. And he's mad. He's out there arguing. Oh, one of those fans said, come on, private. I got you outranked. I'm a corporal. I'll take you on up here in the stands. And did somebody hit him? Something happened. Anyway, he hit the hardwood floor. <laughs> uh oh, Cuban assassin with that elbow to the back of Chief Walking Horse. And a headlock by Eastep now. And a little short left into the face, kicks him in the rib. Another kick into the rib cage. And down on him with the elbow comes the Cuban assassin. They're both in there working on him. And in comes Sweet Man Oscar to give a little help. Cuban Assassin with the advantage right now on Chief Walking Horse. So has a maybe a half Nelson. But Chief Walking Horse flips him over. Ronnie Eastep still in the ring and the referee trying to round him out to their respective corners. Here comes Sweet Man Oscar in to give some help and the private Arnold grabs and rakes the eyes of Sweet Man Oscar. Boy, they're going at it from all ends. There's a takedown by Chief Walking Horse and a body press. Uh, Chief Walking Horse. We're fired up now. The Cuban assassin. Whipped into the corner, into that turnbuckle, and down he goes. Chief 
Talking Horse whips him into the turnbuckle again. An arm whip off the ropes. Cuban Assassin. Backdrop and he flips him over on a tag and in comes Sweet Man Oscar. Headlock by Sweet Man Oscar. Hip roll. One, a count of two. Two, three. Did he get him? He did get him. And Pete Gerald counted him out. Pete Gerald counting out the Cuban assassin. And this match is all evened up at one fall apiece. Look at that. Chief Walking Horse grabbing Ronnie Eastep by the hair of the head and pulling him into the ring. And there you can see Pete Gerald, the referee, holding the hands of Sweet Man Oscar and Chief Walking Horse high in the air, signifying this match is all evened up at one fall apiece. We'll be back with the third and deciding fall right after these messages. Okay, all evened up. One fall apiece, the third and deciding fall. Sweet Man Oscar and his teammate, Chief Walking Horse, going against the Cuban assassin in wild Ronnie Eastep. Sweet Man Oscar. Coming out, and the Cuban assassin backed off. He goes over and tags Ronnie Eastep, and Eastep reaching the side of his trunks, and he has something in his left hand. There he passes it to the Cuban assassin. The Cuban assassin puts it in his mouth, in his mouth, whatever it was. Remember fans, any comments you have concerning American International Wrestling or matches you'd like to see, feel free to write American International Wrestling, Box 534, Flatwoods, Kentucky, zip code 41139. Appreciate hearing from you. Ronnie Eastep, a little reluctant to come out for some reason. That reason uh, seems to be that he wants to shy away from the referee long enough to lure Sweet Man Oscar in a position to where he can use whatever that piece of material. Uh oh, he's getting into it with Pete Gerald there a little bit now. Sure, I believe Pete's getting a little, a little fed up up there. I think you're right, uh, Larry Bowling, the promoter sitting here beside me. Uh, uh oh, there, there's a there's a step over toe hold by Sweet Man Oscar, and is he applying the leverage? Has a reverse toe hold, and Ronnie E. Step on the canvas. He's going to turn that into an Indian leg lock. Reverse toe hold at the moment. There's the leg lock. And Ronnie Eastep, moaning and groaning. Private Arnold coming up on that outside apron. You can't see it on the screen, but he has something on his mind. And also something in his pants pocket that looked like, to me, a hammer. Surely, I think. Be a good thing while we're here when we get the uh, police to check out Private Arnold. I believe he might be AWOL from Fort Chaffee. Well, I think he's AWOL too. <laughs> That's for sure. Larry. Still with the leg lock at the moment is Wild Ronnie Eastep. Here comes the Cuban assassin in. No doubt about it, Sweet Man Oscar and Chief Walking Horse have taken plenty of, of punishment from these two characters, the Cuban Assassin, while Ronnie Eastman. The Cuban now takes the place of Eastep and he's working on the leg of Sweet Man Oscar. Kind of anxious to see when 
Weak man Oscar does get out of that predicament. Now he's going to walk to his corner. There's another switch as the referee got distracted by private uh, Arnold and he stepped back in. Now there was a tag. In comes Chief Walking Horse. He is going to work on East End. Drops with an elbow. Step over toe hole. And you could hear Ronnie Eastep yelling out. The referee asking him if he'd like to just call it quits. Give him the match. Cuban assassin gets him off, though, and gives Ronnie Eastep the advantage. Look at that, Ronnie Eastep biting the toe of Chief Walking Horse. The referee says, you bite here, boy? He says, no, no, why, no way. Bet he's lying through his teeth. Bites him again on the toe. He must like shoe leather. Chief Walking Horse catching it from both sides. At the moment, the Cuban assassin stomping on that lame leg of Chief Walking Horse. Now they're both being culprits. Outside the ring, Ronnie Eastep. Inside the ring, the Cuban assassin. And they've got Private Arnold over there now. The sweet man Oscar, he's not so sweet. Look at him, he's got Private Arnold and slams him to the canvas with a body slam. Elbow to the back of the head of the Private. And I'll tell you what, he's looking, he's headed back for boot camp, buddy. He don't want any more of that. Well, a sweet man. He Caught a break there to get Private Arnold, and he worked him over. But at the moment, wild man Ronnie Eastep going at it, still working on the leg of Chief Walking Horse. The referee, wild, or rather sweet man Oscar, is trying to tell the referee, look, ref, they mistreated my partner over there. They did everything illegal that they could do, and why don't you break it up? He goes over, starts a count momentarily, the Cuban assassin breaks, but not for long. There's a tag. In comes Ronnie Eastep again. Cuban assassin steps out. Eastep, same hold. Applying some fresh pressure. You can possibly hear in the background, hollowing very loudly, Chief Walking Horse. He'd like to walk out of there to that corner to get a tag from... Sweet man, Oscar, he did get a tag, and in he comes. Ronnie Eastep pulls Chief Walking Horse back in the ring, and right away the Cuban assassin pounding that elbow into the back of the head of Sweet Man Oscar. On the other side of the ring, Ronnie Eastep. Okay, Ronnie Eastep. Well, there's the bell, and time has elapsed. Time has elapsed, and I don't think we're going to have a winner unless the referee, is he going to give the match to... He, he's going to disqualify, or what has happened? Time elapsed. So the referee is going to call it a draw. Nobody wins, nobody loses. One fall apiece. And that concludes our day of wrestling on Interna American International Championship Wrestling.